Hello there, with the new WoW Remix, Mist of Pandaria, aka Time Running feature, due to go live with a global release on May the 16th, it's a great time to preview the new event. Remix is an experimental, limited time event that will allow us to level up new characters all the way to level 70 entirely within the Mist of Pandaria expansion. We're not just limited to the usual level up questing experience, we'll also be able to play the max level storylines, run scenarios, dungeons and even raids. Yes, raiding during leveling up. While the World of Warcraft team is clearly testing out a lot of new things in this event, one of the centerpieces is a mild rework of the leveling experience and I feel that this could present a potential new future for World of Warcraft leveling. But before I explore that aspect in more detail, let's dive into what exactly Remix is. Remix is a limited time experimental event. While Remix is active, when you create a new character, you'll be given a choice between the existing level up experience or to create a brand new character in Remix. While Remix characters will still be on your usual WoW game servers, it will provide an experience that's very isolated from the rest of the world of Azeroth. Characters will start at level 10 and will spawn into Pandaria, and they won't be able to leave until the event ends. On the PTR, we were able to send mail to Remix characters, but I suspect that won't be possible when it goes live, as that feature did allow us to send stuff like heirlooms that don't really fit in with the Remix experience. The reason for this isolation is that Remax has its own independent gearing system that's very different from the live game. Remax gearing will be more familiar to players of Diablo 4. Drops are far more frequent, but also a lot more RNG. Most items will come with sockets that accept special gems. Meta sockets in your helmets will allow you to find and use powerful new abilities. Tinker gems will offer bonus healing and defensives. Cogwheel gems offer movement abilities and prismatic gems will offer extra stat bonuses. We're also going to get a legendary cloak that accumulates both stats but also an XP buff as we progress. This is designed to be account wide so that any power we get on the cloak will be shared with other alts, in effect making leveling faster on subsequent alts. One odd thing about the gearing system is that necks, rings and trinkets don't actually drop during the level up process, although you will be able to obtain them later via max level activities. The stat based meta gems have an upgrade system where collecting three of the gems will allow you to combine them into a new more powerful version of the gem. This upgrade process can be repeated several levels. Now honestly, while I liked the gems with the more powerful effects, I did feel that the stat gems weren't really impactful enough to justify the complexity they added, and having 6 gear slots lie empty for much of the leveling process just felt a little bit strange to me. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out, as it really does feel like Blizzard are experimenting with open world gearing. But the thing I am most interested in is the leveling process itself. After a very short introduction, we drive straight into the old Mist of Pandaria quest lines. But this time, the main story flow is clearly signposted using the Shadowlands style campaign icons, and it's not just the original leveling quests. We're now also able to access much of the max level stories as we level up. For example, the 5.1 Landfall story, Purging of Dalaran and Isle of Thunder are all there. This very much felt to me like the WoW team were making a deliberate effort to allow the full story to be experienced during the leveling up process. Now, during the limited testing time we had so far, I wasn't able to check how successful the team have been in pacing all of this out, but making it easier to find the storyline is certainly a big bonus. Now, for folks who aren't huge fans of questing and storylines, there's plenty of other options, as not only are the old Mist of Pandaria scenarios and dungeons available for leveling, but there's also the option of raiding as you level up, which is certainly a new development for World of Warcraft. As this feature is clearly designed for us to level multiple characters, that variety will certainly be very welcome. 
Remix also does allow us to do max level activities from reputations through to raiding and achievements. There are also a ton of new cosmetic rewards to be earned including 32, yes you did hear that right, 32 new mounts, toys and transmog. There's even new new toys that will allow those of us who never got the original legendary cloak access to orders over in the Timeless Isle. And all of those rewards will be fully transferable over to the live game. All of this will be purchasable using a new currency called bronze that drops from virtually everything in the event. We can even break down unwanted gear into bronze. As well as new rewards, there's also a bunch of old favourite rewards that can be bought using the bronze. Even the Mists of Pandaria world boss mounts will be obtainable that way. When the event eventually ends, characters will be automatically converted to standard characters on the live game. They will lose their now overpowered remix gear, but they will be given a full set of template catch-up gear based on the level. And you also get a nice little care package with bags and gold to get you going. The only caveat is that you won't be able to bring them back to the mainline game until the event ends, which may feel a little bit odd to some players. Broadly speaking, I am looking forward to Remix going live. It's been a while since I've leveled up a character in Mists and I do look forward to the opportunity to experience more of a story that I never got to experience when it was current. And playing about with some of the new abilities and gearing does look like it could be fun. That said, I do think that folks who have done a lot of Mist of Pandaria leveling recently might find it a bit samey, as there isn't really any huge changes to the content. The one concern I do have is that there's an awful lot of rewards for a limited time event. Especially when I think of the effort that Blizzard would normally ask for us to get such a high number of stuff. I'm as happy as anyone to grind stuff out over time, but under the pressure of a deadline, not so much. It was this FOMO effect that was a major factor in spoiling the experience of Plunderstorm for me, as it can create a situation where you start to feel that you're being forced to play on the developer's terms rather than on your own terms. Now, that's just speculation currently, a lot is going to depend on how long the event lasts and the pacing of the rewards. So it's definitely just something I'm worried about rather than this it being a prediction of it actually being an issue. Either way, with Dragonflight winding down in Season 4 not really having a lot to offer in terms of new content, I do expect to be putting quite a bit of time into this event and having something to do in game is going to be very welcome. We don't currently have an official announcement of how long this will last, but on the War Within Alpha, there's an in-game calendar entry that suggests it could last until the week of August the 19th. Now that does need to be taken with a large pinch of salt, as calendar entries can and often do change between test environments in the live game, but three months would certainly seem to be a fairly decent amount of time for it. But how could this event be showing us a possible new future for levelling up in World of Warcraft? Well, to understand that, let's dive into the current state of levelling. One of the goals of the levelling up process is to help introduce players to the game, the story, and to give them a chance to gradually learn their classes. While the latter is achieved to a degree when it comes to storyline, I think it's definitely fair to say that the level up experience really doesn't manage to tell the story at all well. Prior to the Shadowlands levelling revamp, a new player's experience was to jump straight into the immediate aftermath of the Cataclysm, only to abandon that halfway through and go back in time to the Burning Crusade. You then leave that about a quarter of the way through and head off to Wrath, and then back to Cataclysm, and well, you get the idea. In every case, you'd be encouraged to abandon stories part way through, and the max level stories in the game never really ever got a look in. If you did want to do the story, you'd basically have to go back at max level. And of course, even doing that, there's plenty of key moments story-wise that aren't even playable in-game anymore. In Shadowlands with the level squish, Blizzard did try to address these issues, particularly the skipping back and forth in time by getting us to do a single expansion, the default of course being BFA. Unfortunately, that old issue of leaving the story partway through remains. 
yes, you did get to do more of the level up story, but you still didn't get to finish it. And what about the max level stories, which is where, let's be honest, all the real action of the stories tends to take place. And so we're still in reality in a situation where if you want to learn the story of the game, you kind of have to go off and watch novel videos or dig through the Warcraft wiki. Now let's imagine a future where a new player would arrive into one of WoW's previous expansions and find a campaign quest line that's been recrafted to lead them through the complete story of that expansion, perhaps using follower dungeons or maybe even follower raids to bring them to a point where as they end that part of the leveling journey, they'll do it just as they complete the main storyline. Imagine then if we could create an alt and then choose an expansion to re-experience that expansion story in its entirety. As a player who started playing the game in Legion, I've never seen things like Battle for Undercity, Operation Nomregon, and the only reason I saw the purging of Dalaran was due to my wanting to get them out from the Operation Shield War reputation. Making all of this work in World of Warcraft is going to require a lot of work from Blizzard, especially for the older content, and it's probably never going to be perfect. Let's face it, World of Warcraft has always been a gameplay first game. The story has always taken second fiddle to that, and even when you experience the story when it's current, there's still a lot of compromises in the name of gameplay, and this usually manifests itself in pacing issues and, honestly, a fair bit of jank. Okay, some are better than others, just think of Legion vs Shadowlands, but even Legion had its issues. I mean, who remembers the Broken Shore campaign? One of the reasons for that jank, I feel, is that the stories are probably being made only to be experienced by current players as they come out. The need to bring new players in the future up to speed just really isn't taken into account when the stories are designed. If a greater focus on the leveling up story is introduced into the game, this would likely force the writers and designers to think about how the story would be experienced by those future players, and this will likely lead them to change how they deliver the story, if only to make sure that the level up versions don't require a full rewrite. And that pressure on the writers, I feel, could only benefit the in-game storytelling. You only have to look at Final Fantasy XIV's MSQ to see how that greater focus on an evergreen story can produce results. Now, I personally don't think that approach is quite right for World of Warcraft, but there's no doubt that there's still a lot in it that could be learned and applied to make WoW's storytelling better. Remix as an experiment is clearly covering a lot more ground than just the story side of leveling up. The gem system is probably overly complex for new players and would give a false impression of how we gear up in WoW, but I do think many of the changes to the leveling process and remix are probably Blizzard testing the waters for improved leveling with perhaps more of a focus on story, but while also making use of other content like the raid scenarios to provide options for those players who perhaps aren't so interested in the story questing side. No matter how that pans out, I do suspect that probably after the War Within, we can expect to see some deeper changes to the leveling process being brought into the main game. And if Remix is a hint of the team's thoughts in that process, it does seem that those changes could take the game in a very positive direction. But what do you think? Do you enjoy the current leveling experience? Would you prefer more of a focus on storyline? Or maybe you don't even want to be bothered by leveling up? Do let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, please let me know by hitting that like icon. And if you want to see more of my content, please also hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video goes live. There's plenty more content like this to come in the near future. That's all for now, and I will see you all again real soon.